General Mohozi Kanerugaba President Museveni's son has been attacked again. Oh, this is so bad. Stand by for the details. Well, in other news, it's very sad in the Plus 256 entertainment industry, especially in Bobby Wine's camp. I'm going to tell you what has happened. And in other news, the Prime Minister of UK has sent a strong message to Ugandans. Stand by for the details as well. Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy Easter to you all. I hope that uh, this day is amazing for you all. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, going to the main stories right now. I should say it's very sad that on this big day, some of our friends are mourning the loss of their loved ones. Now, the latest sad news I have on the Buzz UG indicates that Fefebusi's sister has died. And this was communicated yesterday by Nubian Lee through his social media platforms. And according to Nubian Lee, this beautiful young lady passed on yesterday morning. However, he did not communicate more details about the cause of death and about the burial, but it's so sad in Fefebusi's camp and Nubian Lee's camp. May God comfort you guys in this trying moment. Actually, if you didn't know, uh, Fefe Busi is a brother to Nubian Lee's wife, Mutoni, and uh, that is why you see there's a lot of connection uh, between these people. And I should say it's very sad, and may her soul rest in peace. Well, in other news, first son Mohozi Kainerugawa has been attacked by a section of Ugandans after back on Twitter. Uh, a few days ago, news circulated everywhere indicating that Twitter had deleted this big man's Twitter account, but it was later realized that this big man deactivated his account himself. However, there is no clear reason why he did that, though other sources suggested that it was order from above. In other words, his father, President Museveni, ordered him to do so. But as we speak right now, this big man is back on Twitter like he never left. <laughs> yes, he's back on Twitter like he never left. And in his own words, he said, never fear my followers and my supporters. I'm back. I had some decisions to make. But some Ugandans have said, Mohozi, please stop fooling us. We know you want attention from the media and the public because of your birthday that is coming up soon. So you want to be the topic in the media. So I should say a section of Ugandans are not happy with the way Mohozi is playing his game. But I mean, his followers are happy that he's back. And uh, as we speak right now, this big man is back at tweeting every time. Every time he's tweeting. <laughs> Anyway, in other news, the Prime Minister of UK, United Kingdom, has sent a message of condolence to Ugandans and President Museveni after the death of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya. Yes, Borison says it's so sad we lost such a big man in the country and he also prayed that his soul rests in peace. Uh, his condolence message was delivered by Lord Popat at State House in Nakasero. Actually, Lord Popat is UK trade envoy for Uganda. But some people are saying, after all this time, why is he sending his condolence message right now? But Ugandans, bulikamuka banyiza, huh? <laughs> anyway, that is it for now on the Buzz UG. Uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Happy holidays!